हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज प्रतीक एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो गाइस इन टुडेज वीडियो आई हैव मोटो G60 विद मी आई एम गोइंग टू डू एन अनबॉक्सिंग एंड ओवरव्यू ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डिवाइस नाउ मोटो G60 वाज लॉन्च्ड इन ऑगस्ट 2021 सो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट 1 ईयर नाउ सिंस दिस डिवाइस वाज लॉन्च्ड सो आई हैव 6GB 128GB मॉडल विद मी एंड द प्राइसिंग एट द टाइम ऑफ व्हेन इट वाज लॉन्च्ड वाज समथिंग अराउंड 18000 बट आई हैव बॉट दिस Uh, device for fifteen thousand on Flipkart. So yeah, the prices have dropped. And is it uh, really worth it for twenty twenty two for fifteen thousand? That we will check out in upcoming videos. So today is just an overview and specification. I'll just guide you with the specification of the device. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And without wasting any time, let's start the video. So let's just not waste the time. Let's open the box first. So as you can see, it's just a normal packaging, and the packaging is not that good. Uh, Moto should actually work on their packaging because the box is not accurate. Uh, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Let's open the box. So as soon as you open the box, you do get a uh, phone at the top, and yeah, it's definitely heavy. Now you can see Moto G60 branding in all uh, ultra high resolution 108 megapixel. I'll, I'll guide you through that uh, later in this video. So let's check out what else we get in the box. So you do get a SIM ejector tool. and some paper works that's it nothing much more than that and yeah you do get cover the cover is already applied on the device itself so no not to worry about that apart from that you do get a charging adapter which is a 20 watt adapter and talking about the battery of this particular device it is 6000 mah battery so that's massive that's huge and 20 watt adapter for 6000 mah battery it's actually weird uh, it's gonna take some time to charge that particular device apart from that you do get charging cable which is type a to type c cable and and nothing else in the box so we'll just keep all these things aside and let's move on to the device now so yeah so talking about the initial impression of this particular device definitely it is heavy and it is not at all slim uh, as i told you it comes with this uh, plastic case now the case quality is decent not that great uh, yeah it's just decent it's okay let's keep that aside and let's remove the screen protector first so overall device is good in hand feel is good it's it's a bit slippery now talking about the back it has that plastic finish but it has that made finish but definitely it might catch some fingerprints over there so let's talk about uh, the basic overview of the device now now talking about the port it has 3.5 mm jack at the bottom with a uh, noise cancellation mic i uh, am talking about the right hand side it has a google assistant button at the top then you have volume rockers and then you have power button and a power button has a bit uh, a texture on it so that you can uh, you can just know that it is a power button now talking about the bottom it comes with speaker grill type c usb port and microphone and on the left hand side you do get a sim ejector uh, a sim tray Uh, now this sim tray talking about the sim tray it is hybrid sim slot uh, either you can use one sim and another memory card or else you can use two sim at once so yeah you might have to compromise there is no dedicated sd card slot but it's okay now talking about the camera setup you do get triple camera setup at the back and uh, the part where you are able to see the motorola logo uh, that is the fingerprint scanner as well Now talking about the front uh, the display comes with punch hole design and it has 32 megapixel camera at the front now I'll I'll be talking about the camera later in this video uh, talking the overall feel of the device definitely it is bulky and as you can see the device is not at all slim the reason behind that is it comes with massive 6000 mAh battery so definitely it's going to last more than a day but definitely it can take some time to charge the device so that's an headache in this one because it comes with 20 watt adapter only Now talking about the display it has 6.8 inch full HD plus IPS LCD display it comes with 120 hertz of refresh rate and it uh, it does support HDR 10 plus now it has wide wide L1 support as well so online uh, content you can just stream on HD in full HD so there won't be any problem in terms of uh, multimedia consumption so overall display by uh, display brightness is also very good there won't be any problem uh, outdoors as well so definitely the device is much more brighter the only thing i don't like uh, is that it comes with ips lcd display now i know in terms of uh, pricing there are devices which comes uh, you know with amoled display under 15000 price range and i'm talking about the latest example which is redmi note 11 so that is a good option but yeah you do have that uh, extra things in this one Now talking about the hardware part uh, it comes with Snapdragon 732G processor which is a 4G processor and it is based on 8 nanometer architecture uh, apart from that 
this device has a 6 GB RAM which is LPDDR4X uh, and it comes with 128 GB ROM which is storage type and talking about the storage type it is UFS 2.1 so overall uh, Snapdragon 732G is a good processor uh, in mid-range uh, now if I compare it with latest Snapdragon 680 processor then it is much more powerful than Snapdragon 680 not on the higher side but definitely it is a bit uh, you know powerful or it is a bit uh, ahead in terms of performance than Snapdragon 680 now Snapdragon 680 is based on 6nm architecture which is why it is more power efficient than Snapdragon 732G so that is the one thing you need to keep in mind if you are going to buy this device so if you want a device for uh, better performance then you can go with Snapdragon 732G in 2022 as well uh, but if you want a device with power efficiency, proper power efficiency, then you can take a look at Snapdragon 680 uh, processor devices. So overall, there won't be any problem in terms of performance because Snapdragon 732G performs very well in terms of uh, if I talk about mid-range phones. So yeah, Snapdragon 732G is good. Now talking about the OS, it comes with Android 11 and uh, it does have uh, Motorola's Think Shield uh, security. Now, if anyone doesn't know Think Shield uh, security, I would give you an example. Uh, so, if my uh, if you might know already about Samsung Knox security, then it is same like that Knox security. Motorola has its own Think Shield security. So, it is hardware and software based uh, security. So, you don't have to worry about your privacy and all that is completely covered under this uh, under this one. So, overall hardware wise and software wise definitely this device is okay it is decent uh, if you're looking for a mid-range phone and you don't get any bloatware in this particular device as it's stock android you will get that near uh, stock android experience in this one and 120 hertz is very well optimized with uh, this one so overall uh, hardware wise specification wise device is good now talking about the camera uh, as I said, it has triple uh, camera setup at the back and at the front it has single camera setup. So talking about the main camera, it is 108 megapixel and secondary camera is 8 megapixel ultra wide and another one is 2 megapixel depth sensor. And talking about the selfie, it is 32 megapixel. So overall, I haven't uh, tested it with some photos yet, but definitely until you see this video, you might be uh, seeing some uh, random pictures which I will show on the screen right now. So yeah, you can just take a look at how the camera is performing as it has 108 megapixel main camera. That was the main highlight uh, with this device. So you can just see some sample pictures and you can figure it out how this uh, device camera is performing. So overall, uh, specs wise, uh, I think this is still uh, an option in 2022. I won't recommend it yet until I test it fully, completely. But yes, uh, specs are good. If performance wise, Snapdragon 732G is still, I would say, a good option. Uh, now talking about the other things, which is the connectivity, uh, it has carrier aggregation. So you will get 4G plus uh, network in this one. So this is not a 5G device. Uh, that is again one thing which you have to keep in mind. This is a 4G device. If you are not looking for 5G, then this might be an option. Apart from carrier aggregation, you have dual band uh, Wi-Fi. You have Wi-Fi calling, Bluetooth 5.0 support and 4G VoLTE. So all the connectivity options are present in Motorola G60. Apart from that, now talking about the features, there are uh, very uh, minor features which are uh, missing from uh, today's devices, which is uh, notification light is present on the display at the top. So which is a good thing. Now that notification light which, uh, will also help you as a flashlight if you're using selfie camera. So again, that is one thing which is missing in today's device. You don't get notification light in much devices. You do have FM, uh, FM in Motorola G60. Now that is weird actually because FM is completely gone from Android devices. Now I think there are hardly few devices which comes with uh, FM and all. So yeah, overall feature wise and connectivity wise device is proper. Now there will be some videos coming on this one. I will try to do a gaming test and charging test on this particular device over here. So let's wait for my future videos. And for today's opinion, I would say the device looks good. I just need to test how Snapdragon 732G performs and I will give you an update uh, for that very soon. So that's pretty much it for today's video guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos with this particular device and much more devices because there are multiple devices which are coming. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.